Morning, you're back with the lawn engineer. We've got a lot of work ahead of us today, so I want to go get some dirt um, and get it on the project there to uh, reclaim the old garden back into grass. So I want to get some dirt, level it out, seed it, um, get that going in spring here yet before it gets too hot. Uh, but the other thing is I need to get concrete edgers here um, on this this small rock piece along this uh, rock retaining wall to match what I've done here on the rest of it. Um, that grass is growing in there pretty good and when I try to string trim or weed eat around here I'm, I'm throwing rocks all over so I want to get those edgers in. all my edgers laid out there as you can see I made more work for myself because now I put them on the lawn I got to get these things off in the next couple days so I can mow and so it doesn't kill the grass where they're sitting under there but I'm looking forward to having that this edge cleaned up give it a nice manicured look there you're back with the lawn engineer I'm working on installing my concrete edgers here about a month ago, I did this landscape stone, put some landscape fabric under it, uh, and did the stone. And at the time, I was debating if I was going to do a live edge uh, or come with this. After I decided to uh, match the rest of my landscape and do this, um, I like this stuff. It's it's like 89 cents a foot, so it's pretty affordable. I think I, I got 140 of these for this project, but I'll show you how I do it. Uh, basically set them in place, tap them a few times to get them relatively seated with the, the rubber mallet here and uh, work my way ahead. Um, I used to bury them so that the top was flush with the grass, but here in the uh, central Wisconsin, the upper Midwest, the, the freeze and the thaw seems to just swallow these things up over the years. So I've had to, to pull them up and put dirt under them just to keep them up. Uh, from the grass, prevent the grass from covering them completely. So um, now I just leave them on top basically, leave them float on top. Um, the landscape fabric I'm trying to cover about 50% at least to keep uh, the weeds and the grass out from coming up between these things. But uh, yeah, I'll show you how I do it here. I'm just pulling the stone back. I'm putting my edger in there. And there's a high spot here. There you go, on to the next one.
They used to get real crazy. Put a level on these things, level them up both ways. Um, but I just found they're, they're good for a while, but year after year, it's gonna drive you crazy to keep them perfect. Uh, like I say, don't let perfection get in the way of very good. Um, you, you'll spend all your time doing this and get nothing else done. The other thing we wanna do every once in a while is kind of take a step back and see how your line is running. And uh, once they're in, you can kind of kick them in place and, and get it to look good so there's no abrupt changes. But I'll just keep working away here. Well, I came out this morning to continue my work on the uh, edgers here. And honestly, this uh, last part looks pretty good, but in the middle here, looks like crap. So I gotta pull those up fix that line and uh, it looks like some of them are tipping so I'm gonna what work pretty good here is is to compact the soil before I put the edger down so I got to pull that section up and redo it it is not close to very good it's crap so we need to improve that with uh, compacting the soil before I put the, the stone down. Once you get the stone down, the surface area is so much, it's hard to uh, really make a, an impact on the soil. But uh, it's looking a lot better. I'm gonna use that technique and, and continue on.
just got finished up here uh, putting those edgers on. It turned out quite good. The most time consuming part of this was compacting that soil because it is on a slope here. You can see this sloping away from the house a bit. And uh, basically so that paver wasn't tipping over downhill, I had to compact that soil on the path on the high side and get them to, to lay pretty fat, flat, but you can see here. Uh, the best thing that worked with that is actually that, that uh, rubber mallet, just as I go, because um, the contact pad, patch was actually pretty small, so you could beat the ground there, compact the high side, uh, it turned out pretty good. You can see it uh, goes all the way to the road there along there. The other uh, interesting thing here is I found some some hostas that I buried when I did this landscape stone this spring, and they were growing underneath the landscape fabric, so I cut those out. You can see they're pretty yellowy, but those those are some hardy plants. Um, looks like they'll be just fine, so I'm thankful I found those. Uh, glad I did this project before those died off completely, but you can see here it turned out really good. So if you guys wanna change something in your lawn, make a plan, Execute the plan. Adios.